Hey guys, Dana with Spun Paradise Cotton Candy. So today I am talking about fundraising with cotton candy. A few different options on how you can do that and make it profitable for yourself and for whatever organization you've teamed up with. And so we're just gonna dig right into that. So the first option is prepackaged cotton candy. That means that you prepackage the cotton candy into bags or all, buy it already prepackaged to sell at an event, at a fundraising event. Generally, it's gonna cost you about 20 cents per bag and about 70 cents per bag worth of sugar floss for each bag. So you're looking at about 90 cents to a dollar per bag for your cost. And another option is to just buy prepackaged bags from us. We make the three ounce bags that are generally sold at fairs or fundraisers and events. Whether you make it yourself or you buy it prepackaged, at spunparadise.com, your resale is going to be about five to seven dollars per bag. So no matter what, you're making a pretty good profit off of it. The nice thing about doing prepackaged for fundraisers is that you don't have to take out the machine and all the equipment that's involved with live spinning. So it's pretty clean and pretty easy to do. It's very straightforward and you can, again, make a good profit. The downside to prepackaged is that when you're taking it out to a fundraising event, you're never positive on exactly how much you're going to sell. So there usually are some bags that go to waste that you just, either you didn't bring enough or you brought too much. So, you know, ideally we're bringing just almost the perfect amount, but there is always that risk with doing prepackaged for fundraisers. So just keep that in mind. Also, making your own prepackaged cotton candy, uh, if it's not something you're doing all the time and you don't have a like, fully dedicated commercial kitchen uh, for manufacturing, it can be really messy. So if you're just you know, a member of a PTA or PTO doing this you know, once a year, it can be really messy and a lot of work to prepackage it yourself. So sometimes the option of buying it prepackaged already is a night an easier cleaner option the nice thing about prepackaged cotton candy at fundraisers is it's visually appealing it's perfect it there's you know the colors there's the bags they're hanging everywhere if you have them in a tent or in a booth whatever it is you have set up it's visually appealing and you can play with the bags and put them in different spots and people love to see it it's also super convenient they can walk up the cotton candy's already packaged, all ready to go. They can pay and take, and it's there and it's ready to go. A lot of people really prefer prepackaged as far as customers at fundraisers because they can just eat a little bit at a time and kind of roll up the bag or tie it and save some for later. A lot of customers at fundraisers don't really want to eat everything at once like you would have to on a cone. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Where the fundraiser is, if um, prepackaged may be a better option than fresh cones. There's a lot of pros to doing prepackaged for fundraisers. So right now, due to different health and safety regulations due to COVID-19, prepackaged is a really good option. There's a lot of fundraisers going on right now that are drive-by fundraisers instead of, you know, carnivals or holiday boutiques. They are, you know, schools and different organizations are setting up in parking lots, larger parking lots, and letting customers drive through to make their purchases. So prepackaged really for current health and safety regulations is a really, really good option for those drive-through fundraising opportunities. Super easy to just hand out the bags. The second option would be pre-sales. That's where you or whatever organization you're working with goes out and pre-sales the cotton candy first on like an order form that either you have provided for the organization or they have their own. Pre-sales is a great option because, well, one, there will never be any waste. You know exactly how many have been ordered, so you know exactly how many to make. The harder part of this is there is no visual appealing. The sales is strictly by you know, marketing and describing what the product cotton candy is. Again, this option is really nice because it would still be pre-packaged. You can totally, again, make it yourself or order pre bags from a company like ourselves or another cotton candy company that just makes the pre-packaged bags for you. 
So you still have that option. You're not lugging any equipment around. This is a really good one right now for COVID-19 as well. If, if the organization you're working with has enough customers that they can pre-sell to. It can be a little tricky with that, but if they have enough that they can market to without direct contact, then pre-sales does work as well. With pre-sales, historically what Spend Paradise has done is we provide the order form to the organization that will be doing pre-sales and then they make copies of that order form and hand it out to whoever, whoever will actually be selling. We generally have done this, the pre-sales with like a two to four week time frame. So people do the pre-sales for two to three weeks, give us all the orders, the order deadline has been cut off and then we turn around in a, in a week and provide all the product for the organization to go out and deliver. There's a couple ways we've done pre-sales. We've just provided all the product to the organization and they have distributed their orders. We've also done it where we have gone to a school that we did pre-sales with years ago and we set up a little booth and people came and picked up their orders from the booth. So we still took care of like the delivery of the orders as well. So there's a couple different options there with pre-sales. The third option for fundraising would be spinning live. Spinning live is an awesome option. It's going to be your highest profit for you and whatever organization you're working with for fundraising. You're looking at about three to 12 cents per paper cone to spin live and make standard cotton candy cones like you would find at a fair. It would be three to 12 cents for the cotton candy cone, the paper cone. And you're looking at, if you're using a Spun Paradise cotton candy sugar floss, you're looking at about 25 cents per serving per cone in sugar, in sugar floss. So you're looking at anywhere between 28 cents to 37 cents a cone. Generally though, you would be looking to sell those cones anywhere between four to $7, depending on where you are and your demographics and where you're selling. So the profit is still the highest, it's super high. I do recommend getting the paper cones if you have a Smart and Final or a restaurant supply store locally. Generally, they do sell the cones cheaper than you can get them online at Amazon on Amazon. But again, if you're looking at Amazon for cones, about 12 cents a cone. A local distributor, about three cents a cone. Still a really good profit margin regardless. Spinning Live is a lot of fun in the sense that it is uh, visually appealing. It's fun. People are seeing the machine. They're seeing how cotton candy is being made. It's so, so fun for them. And so generally, uh, we d you will make a lot of sales. Another nice thing is there isn't any waste. Again, this option, you're only sell making what you're selling. So if you know, you don't have any leftover waste, which is really nice with spinning live. Spinning live is more work as far as the day of the event. You do have to bring out the equipment, the tent, the booth, whatever it is your setup is. So there is more work in, involved in moving around your equipment. But again, it is your highest profit margin. So it's totally worth it. I do recommend for fundraising when you're spinning live, max of three flavors for an event that you're expecting anywhere from 100 to 1,000 people at. Anything over 1,000 people, I would say four to five flavors is okay to do. The problem we've found in the past is that if you take too many flavors with not a super high volume of people, one flavor might be super popular and another not, and then you're left with a lot of a particular sugar flavor. When you take less flavors, it seems to even itself out a little bit more than when you take a huge list of flavors. Another thing to consider with all your fundraising options are people really like unique things right now. It's super trendy, it's super fun. Um, so don't be afraid to offer fun, unique flavors. That is just, in itself, usually sells the cotton candy. People are really interested in new, unique things they've never tasted or seen. So don't be afraid to take out some fun, unique flavors. With COVID-19, again, totally an option. Lots of people doing drive-by birthday parties and fundraisers right now. And a lot of them are having 
cotton candy carts out spinning live. So don't be afraid of live spinning right now with COVID-19 as long as it's uh, cleared by your env local environmental health department. So be sure to contact them and see what works for them and what they are allowing right now in your local county. Live spinning is really fun right now for drive-by fundraisers because it's so fun to have cotton candy cones being delivered to your door car window. So just want to throw that out there. They're all great options. Fundraising with cotton candy is really a high profit, no matter which option you go with. We do have a blog post over on our blog at spunparadise.com. If you want like really detailed info on fundraising with cotton candy, head over to the blog and read the blog post because there's so much more detail I've put in writing. And that way you can study it and figure it out and really figure out which option is best for you. Everyone is different and what works best for them with fundraising, especially in just large events in general. So yeah, head over to the blog and figure that out and read, read up on that and get yourself a little bit more educated. And as always, keep it sweet.